Alrighty guys, it was raining all weekend, and uh, after we got back from the farm, I found a pleasant surprise in the blackberry patch, and that is, they are reproducing. And by reproducing, I mean shooting up new canes, flora canes, this year's canes. That is one on the Natchez. You can see how big it got just over the weekend. Here we have a small new flora cane on the Apache. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. See it? See that green cane coming up next to that brown one? Here we have a really big flora cane shooting up on the other Natchez. And it's got uh, some good flowers going on. Now, the Primark Freedoms still haven't quite taken off. This one, when I got back, had a uh, caterpillar spinning a cocoon in its, uh, in its center here. That's why that leaf there is off and shoot up and that leaf up there. So I pinched him off and tossed him in the leaf he was in. But uh, they do have a little bit of new growth on them. That's, that's new leaves. That's got some new leaves coming. You know, they probably just haven't established their root system quite well yet. They, they were in little tiny paint, little tiny paint things when they came in. Had a root ball about maybe not even as big as my fist. Um, Navajo starting to get a few flowers on it, a few flower buds. Uh, this Apache's got really good flowers. I did get the materials to go ahead and throw up a trellis because that's just about touching the ground right there and uh, I don't want that quite yet. I would like for the uh, Primark Freedoms to shoot out some long canes so I can reproduce them but that's gonna have some berries. That is gonna have some berries. I'll take y'all over to the uh, peach tree real quick well, the peach trees. I cleared out this area. I got a little tiny pawpaw right here. I'm thinking about putting a big pawpaw over in here to start a colony, pawpaw tree. Um, so, peaches, peaches. Here's some clusters up here. Hope y'all can see those. There's some clusters. There's some clusters. Uh, there's some clusters. It's the Georgia Bella. There's some clusters. There's some clusters. The one I just showed you was the early Alberta. There's some clusters. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm. <laughs> there's so many peaches on these tiny little branches. It's gonna weigh them down. And if if it looks like they're in danger of breaking, I'm gonna have to pinch some of these peaches off. Uh, I may thin the clusters out a bit anyway, but they are coming in nicely, and that is about it for now. I will walk y'all down the blackberry. Oh, the, uh, as you can see in one of my earlier videos, this, uh, this blueberry bush was not looking too hot at all, but when we came back from this weekend, all this rain caused it to shoot out leaves. It's got leaves all over it now. That one's came back fairly well, too. All this stuff was covered in wisteria. That's why I got the ugly boxes out. But that right there is shorter than the amount of shrubbery and wisteria that was all over here. Because I've, I've done a lot of cutting over here, too. You can see I got some down trees and stuff like that as well. Um, I got to get out here and do some more. That'll probably be a project for the weekend after next because we're going back to the farm this weekend. There's the uh, the uh, Red Haven peach tree, by the way, right there. But uh, it's, it's a project. It is a project. So, Apache, Natchez, three Primark Freedoms that I'm desperately waiting to have a big gray spurt. I did get some uh, composted horse manure while I was at the farm too and that's gonna go up on the top of these banks here. I'm gonna do a couple shovelfuls on the top of each bank so when it rains like it's doing now it'll wash all that down into there. Uh, 
Natchez, Apache, and another Natchez. The reason why this first bed uh, has already shot out its its new floricanes is because they were in the ground um, over fall and winter. They got put in the ground at the tail end of last summer. And they, they looked terrible when I got them. Like I said in the previous videos, they were just baking out there in the sun. And uh, I didn't think all of them were going to make it. Uh, I had another uh, Navajo, and that one did not make it. So they didn't all make it. But the reason why they were able to uh, shoot out floricanes already is because their root system is already well established. And this, this rain caused that to kick into high gear. That is it for now.